Hello everyone and welcome back to the Settlers Closed Beta. Now I would like to push for my next production chains while we still can do this one here. We are by the way a bit under pressure right now from the middle and the eastern side. But I think we are holding off for now. And I would like to find ways to boost my troops because we do have quite a lot of troops available. No doubt about that, right? It's really a lot. We also have the healing special ability now. But what we still lack is technology. We are researching already. And in that case here, let's just have a look at the other buildings. The coach maker would be one that is still missing. Let's get this one on the way. We have some space here, right, on the beach or over here too. Let's actually have this one in my industry sector. Let's call it industry sector. This one. So there's something coming up. And then I have the mint as well because we're producing a lot of gold already in this gold mine here, right? We could boost this with berries then too that we have over there. And with the gold, I can make some coin out of that. And that we can do in the mint without selling resources all the time. So that's my next production building here. And that we can have, let's place it like this. Because I can then have a juicy road around that. Connect these blocks here, right? So this is now a block. And then I can continue down here uh, into this area there. There is only bushes there really. Nothing out of that. I think with this, we are almost done with all the buildings. We still have the ranch. This one produces meat or donkeys, horses. And the forager hut produces berries. That's over here. I would really like to get this one. Let's just see that we get this one here. Right? Because it has the maximum area. And I think it's close enough to the warehouse. So we don't need to worry about that too much. And let's get the, the road over there. My other goal is right now that we take care of these uh, berry bushes there. So he's really... Oh, look at that. And just when I was actually saying something, there is an attack on the other side coming in. But this is just a smaller enemy force, right? I could boost that. I could fortify my border here with another tower. So let's do this. Let's have a second tower in the area. So this one... Right, and as we can see, they have no chance really against this tower here. By the way, for this tower, I don't see any health bar at all. So no idea how this works out. And we have lots of bows there. Perfect. And lots of access. So we can get all these units out. More units for me. Meanwhile, perfect. The mint has been finished. So this one should be coming in now, this production. And also, the coach maker is finished. And at the coach maker, I can make coaches trains carriers to become advanced carrier with donkeys so there we have it it's not horses it's donkeys and for that we do need the wrench first because at the wrench we can actually get these donkeys the wrench fortunately doesn't need to be far away so let's just place it here beside the coach maker and i do this squeeze it in somehow here there you go and then we can have a road behind it so this is starting the production then of the donkeys. We need more residences too. So we have lots of lumber right now in stone. But it's perfectly fine to just get us a few more of these out. Um, we could have a nice little block of houses. Here. And here. And probably here too. Right. And then we have the road going around that. For another block here. That's going to work out then. We need more settlers there after all. Our army is growing. There you go. Lots of people. Let them see. Come. Let them see um, attacking us. Let's actually attack. And I think... Is the mint working? It is working. We have gold. Beautiful graphics. I'm just really stunned by the graphics. Not so much by the gameplay, but by the graphics. And my ranch is also coming along there. We can do a bit more researching. I would like to finally also get the highest research tech for my rangers. So they do a maximum amount of damage. And let's destroy. Can we not destroy this one? There you go. I think there is some loot waiting for us here. That's down. Let's take my engineers that are available still. So this one. And claim this territory. Ready for duty. Our army is under right, they will have no chance against my super research super troops. I guess we have a, a few too many archers there. Our 
perfect. Let them come, let them come. I'm on my way. They will just run into my troops anyway. I need some rest. Oh, come on. My troop, my melees are there. You should have stopped them. There you go. Perfect. So this is looking good. We have breached their defenses. We have breached their front line. I just need more engineers now. So this guy here too. To claim me this territory. While we continue destroying everything that we find. Oh, he's got a, a big... How are they called? A shrine over there. That we can destroy. This is not looking good for him right now. This shrine is a very expensive. And down it is. In a quite the dramatic manner. These guys are not moving anymore. Why are they not moving? Oh, there's a scarecrow. Alright. There's a Scarecrow. It can taunt your units and they will only attack the Scarecrow until destroyed or killed. Unfortunately, I don't see how many, how much health this one has. Are you serious? <laughs> can you actually destroy the Scarecrow? I think it's not being destroyed. And I cannot move my troops away anymore. Now I can. Holy cow. Order received. All right, at least the troops are destroyed. I will move up back a bit and we need to train a few more units. Make up for it. And let's also switch back to weapons. And I hope that I have some money I do to purchase some swords. There you go. Four swords we can afford. For the guardians. I should have more engineers though. There they are. Perfect. And let's start claiming this territory for us. So I'm determined to make my push over here now. There's also something here for two. We get 30 gems. So this sounds about right. And let's pick it up. They're still attacking the scarecrow. Which is not going down. Just a scratch. Where shall I go? All right. I I'm going to avoid the scarecrow. It is powerful. <laughs> like it's not going down at all. Let's go around it and just hope that we don't get into its area. Oh, that's a gem maker, and we have lots of loot in here. There's also the tower. Right. He's activating this special ability there. That's interesting. Mm. Let's get back home there again. Three more units. There you go. And I guess we also have enough donkeys now. We have donkeys, right? Yes, we can get some carriages now. Producing more quickly. And we also get more coin. Let's use this for... Gleaming arrows. Doing more damage to buildings, my rangers. There you go. Taking care of. Perfect. This tower has also been finished, so we got two towers on that side. Let's move this one out again as well. Alright, we do have two swords coming in. And I will need more residences too for us. This one, this one. And let's build this one too. Three more coming up. We could boost them with a bit of bread to speed up the arrival of new citizens. And let's get another donkey out there. While my engineers continue to advance my territory into enemy territory now. Just a few 
We got also some grapes now in, so let's boost the gold mine. With that, more gold is coming in. And with that, we can also boost our coin production that we have over there. Which, by the way, we can also boost with grapes, right? And coin is everything in this game, really. With coin, we can purchase weapons, we can do some researching. The flaming, flaming arrows now. Landmark completed. And we've also plundered this these stolen goods there for us. If there's a job to do, I can get it done. 30 gems it is. And I would like to get them. Any orders? Perfect. We got the flaming arrows now, so that's another important tech for destroying buildings. How about buildings in general? Do we have anything else here still? We got the gem mine. Reduces gems. Do we have any gem deposits? Nothing here. There is one. Unbelievable. Up there is one. And we can use it. Let's use this gem deposit up there. Very good. Gems we need for healers. Let's get this over there. Our army is under attack. What's up? There was another smaller attack here from a ranger. Nothing serious though. And I would like to go ahead and have perhaps... Yep, the Shady Tavern. This one gives me, I think, siege units. Let's go ahead and build it. It's looking pretty cool, by the way. Let's just get this one over. And this one will allow us to get siege units. And with that, we can take down buildings. Right? There's still this scarecrow. I can't do anything with it. Okay, let's just see if there's something else over here. There is. And I think the AI is not using these um, landmarks there, right? Because they're all not fulfilled. Oh. There's an enemy troop here. And let's also build a tower. Protect this area for us. He's taking a lot of damage. Right, and here... Let's claim this area now for us, or let's actually get the loot for us. Research-wise, what next? Warriors have additional health, deal increased damage. Let's do this. And yes, there is of course some hidden troops here. Let's save my engineers for the building of the tower here. And these troops are protecting for now. By the way, reinforcements we have. Let's get them back up here as well. And then I'm really just waiting now for this big tavern building here. Which is probably the last building. And then we are through all of them. As far as I can see, we are through all of them. We still have the gravel road. Um, speed bonus for people transporting stuff. So we can get ahead here. Perfect. And use the stone to upgrade these roads. Let's do this. Speeds up transportation. The same goes for the carriages, of course. Alright. Also, this one is done for. Right. The stone quarry there. And I think we have stone here. I will need another quarry. But I don't see any stone, really. Eh. I guess we need to purchase stone from now on. Because that's the only way. There is actually some stone over there. It's looking like stone a lot to me. But it's not. Nor is this one. That's a pity. No more stone. But I guess we will need to purchase it. We do have lots of money, by the way. So the mint is doing an amazing job at that. I can build almost anything. Our army is under attack. Research complete. And the next research has been finished. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Two shot X. 16 tools. Let's purchase or let's train some more engineers. And can we have a yep a rally point up here? Because we're going to need it. And at the same time, I will still need to boost my residences and let's build this a few more because 
We are out again, right? We are at the limit of what's possible. Oh, and there's actually engineers missing here for, for the construction. We don't have any engineers available anymore. That can't be right. There is one. That's... Oh, they're all building the roads. Right, as we can see... We can't see it yet. First of all, we got donkeys now on the roads. That's pretty cool, right? So that's a bit faster, I guess. And they can transport more. But I don't see my gravel roads there so far. There's more engineers coming out now. Please build me the tavern. Hmm, in order to build that tower, I will need another warehouse up here, I think. Because otherwise, there's no building materials getting over, right? So if you want to get this one working... Um... I will need... As soon as I find it again... There it is. This warehouse here, and I think... Let's place it here. There is unfortunately really no range indication, right? It's a bit, bit of a trouble for me. Because I'm basically now just randomly placing it and hoping that it's working. But we... No, we do have all the materials. There you go. Place it there. And let's get the road over. Our army is under attack. To that. There you go. Reinforcements are in as well. And there is also my other engineers coming in. But we need to wait here now quite a long time. Because first of all, we need to finish this warehouse there. We need to finish the whole road going up there. And then we need to wait until the building itself has been built. It's been destroyed now. It's fine. It was only the construction site. We can just build it again. Didn't cost us anything really. But holy moly, this is taking forever. Just to build that tower there. Alright, nothing else that I could do there. I just hope that on my busy side... Ah, perfect. There is at least some people moving in. We can train again. We can actually train a lot of guardians right now. Let's get the waiting point, the rally point up there. Right, so all of them move up there. And we also have the amount of engineers once again available. So they will be working for us. Money-wise, I could go ahead and increase the armor of my archers now. Let's do that. And, ooh, we have 200. No, we have 30 gems available. 30 gems, that would be one more healer. Let's train this one. And then we could, what could we sell? Not much. Fish we could sell, but we have so much coin. We have 1,500 coin. Um, I'm just going ahead and purchase me some bows. Right. Because we have enough money for the research anyway, since researching takes quite some time. Right? Because the coins first need to get there. That's a problem. Enemy in sight. At least the warehouse is being built. I guess. The resources are being transported over there. And that forager is working still. Perfect. And I guess we can also get some more... Yep. Train carriers. Get some more carriers out there again. So these donkeys here. And there's a settler coming in, right? And he's basically just getting himself a donkey. And transporting resources faster with that. Now I've got my engineers close by. So they will be able to do the, the warehouse. So, the game just crashed on me, just as a nice one, and there is no saving in the close beta, so this concludes this playthrough. Thanks for watching.